Hey guys, it's Coach Steve and I've got this week's workout brief. Starting on Monday, we're going to start off going into some strength work on the push press. Uh, three sets of five going heavy overhead for, for just as heavy as you can go without jerking the weight. So it's dip, drive, press that out. Um, really focus on solid positions here. Um, don't try to get into a place where this is kind of wonky. Um, really kind of consider this to be uh, form degradation as the limit, not just whatever your body can freaking get overhead. Work on that good push press position. Lock out every rep. Um, be safe when you come back down because that's where this, this way can get a little bit crazy um, and see what you can get to. Three sets of five heavy working sets for all three. Um, once we're done with that, we're going to go into very simple row 2K, row 2,000 meters. This is a benchmark. So I want this to be something that you do very, very hard. Um, if you get through the row and you feel like you didn't get enough, you didn't do it right. This should be one of those things that this should be um, by the end an all out effort kind of feel. Um, if you're able to measure what that is and see how that feels. Um, if not, just kind of take it as a workout day. Um, go hard, don't tap into the tank too much, but I do want everybody going 90 plus percent by the end of this one, um, getting that good hard breather um, and seeing what you can do on a 2K row. This equates pretty closely to about a one mile run, so it should feel about the same. Um, obviously scale that to whatever you need. Cap for that is 10 minutes. I don't want anybody coming close to 10 minutes. Everybody should be pushing hard to get through that. Um, if you're going to 10 minutes, you went too far because you definitely couldn't push the entire time. On Tuesday, we're gonna start off practicing toes to bar. Um, this is probably something that we'll see come up in the CrossFit Open over the next week or two. Um, so we might as well play with it here. And then it's a couple of different AMRAPs. So three cycles of two different AMRAPs, four minutes each. So in one, we're going to go uh, a four minute AMRAP of 12 cal row, five toes to bar. That's gonna be fairly quick. Both of those movements you can push decently hard on and it's only four minutes. So you're gonna go back and forth on those quite a bit. Once you're done with that four minutes, you're gonna take a one minute rest. And then you're gonna do four minutes of 10 wall balls and 10 box jumps. Again, these are pretty low reps. So you're gonna bounce back and forth between those two pretty, pretty easily, pretty quickly. Um, once you're done with that four minutes, you're gonna take a one minute rest. That's one cycle through. You're gonna repeat that two more times. Um, we're looking at some pretty high rep counts here. I want people getting 300 plus reps on this, counting each calorie as a rep. So we're moving pretty fast. So if you need to take a break, it's gonna be in those transitions. The, the movements themselves should be at a place where you do not need to, to break them up. It's doing those movements unbroken and the rest is really moving between the two, the two movements themselves. Um, this should very much be a breather um, with a little bit of leg pump it, because of those wall ball shots and box jumps, the abs will feel it a little bit with those toes bar, but generally those should go pretty quickly. On Wednesday, we're going to start building into some hang or to some hang power cleans, um, practicing those, getting pretty good at those because the workout is a strength walk. Let me be clear. This is a strength workout. Um, it's five rounds, five hang power cleans of something that's heavy for you. And once you're done with that, you're going into a one minute weight, weighted plank. Once you're done with that, you're gonna rest for 90 seconds. And then you're gonna go five weighted pull-ups, as heavy as you can go, and one minute of double unders. You're gonna rest a minute and a half again and start over. That's what this workout is. It is heavy with a little bit of breathing aspect in there. Um, Try to keep the, the rest time between the two weighted movements, the, the cleans and the plank, and then the rest time between the pull-ups and the double-unders. Keep that short, go right into it. Um, and 
see where this goes. This will be one of those days that it's going to tax you in a funny way because this is heavy and then sta stable, heavy and then breathe. And that's gonna tax you in a, in a funny way. You're definitely going to feel that tank draining a little bit. Um, so maybe the weight changes each round through, uh, but just kind of keep that wherever you can go for this workout. On Thursday, this is another benchmark for us. We're gonna do death by sprint. What that means is we're gonna run 10 meters, which just happens to be the width of the gym. And every minute on the minute, we're gonna add 10 meters. So the first round, you just run across the gym. Second round, you run across and back. Third round, boom, boom, boom. Keep adding 10 meters until you cannot do the work in the given, in the one minute. Um, this is one of those that it gets very taxing, very hard to breathe. It maybe starts messing with your head since you have to turn so much. Um, if you need to go to the rower or the bike, um, that is a possibility. We will do calories um, and starting at two calories, add two calories every minute. Goal here is I want everybody going at least 10 plus minutes um, on this workout. So scale this if you need to, move things around, jump on a different device, whatever you need to do to get 10 minutes. Cash out after this is um, Turkish sit-ups. So you're going to take a weight, lock out that arm, sitting up with the weight, coming up overhead with it, 10 reps, and then take a break. You're going to try to do four sets, two on each side for 10 reps, whatever load you feel like you can handle for those move, that movement. On Friday, CrossFit Open 22.2. We do not know what this is again, just like last week. I will update the charts and send things out again on Thursday when they announced this workout. Um, last week, we had obviously the, the workout with wall walks and dumbbell snatch and box jumps. I wouldn't expect to see any of those movements again. Um, that was a 15 minute workout. Uh, so kind of expect this one to be a little bit different. Maybe this one's gonna be a four time workout with some different movements. Um, probably not a triplet. Um, expect to see either see kind of a chipper or um, a couplet and four time. So it may end up being that a lot of us end up taking the same amount of time, but that's not the design, won't be the design of the workout is my guess. That's all it is, is a guess. So we'll come out with the details on that Thursday. On Saturday, we're going to play with some thrusters and the whole class is going to be dedicated to thrusters. We're going to do every minute on the minute. We're going to do five thrusters. You're going to do three sets of that at the same weight, and then you're going to add weight. And you're going to do five thrusters every minute on the minute, three times again for three more minutes. And you're going to add some weight. You're going to continue doing this until you cannot do the thrusters. This is very much by, like the death by sprint, but very, very different. This one is about adding weight. This is another day where we're going to get strong and endurance, a little bit of muscle fatigue here because it will end up being a lot of reps. That's the goal. We're looking at four plus cycles of this. So um, we're, we're going to be doing four different sets of weights, which means it's about a 20 round workout. If you do the math, don't do the math in CrossFit, that's about 100 thrusters. So kind of keep that in mind. This is a heavy leg day. So look forward to that. Make sure you have um, all the things you need set up so you don't have to walk on, on Sunday. That's what we have coming up this week, guys. Look forward to seeing you in the gym. Bye.